So which products have had noticeable increases over the past few days or weeks even? I mean, after the fuel price increases, we have some goods already um, uh, at least having some spikes here. And should we be bracing for more increases in the next few days or weeks even? Okay. Prices have been increasing even since the end of last year. No? Because uh, for two years during the lockdown, nobody dared increase their price. There was no demand. Okay, mm -hmm. So uh, now that prices have been increasing continuously every month, no? um, do we see an easing of uh, these in price increases? Oh, I don't think it looks good that um, fuel prices will be increasing again. Uh, you just mentioned that uh, LTFRB has approved a one peso increase in uh, commuting. No? Um so I guess um, we see that prices will continue to rise for some items. Again, it's not the same item which, rise, which increases its price, okay? It's a, a, a merry-go-round. That's what the manufacturers do these days, okay? If I have 400 items, I'll increase you know, the 40 items first this month, another 40 probably next month, 50 the following month. And then if those uh, increase the, in price uh, during the first month uh, is not enough, I'll increase it again after, let's say, five months, no? So it's a merry-go-round. Uh, staggered basis, just so people don't feel the the pinch. Now, uh, one time, big time, all items increased all at the same time. So, mm -hmm. uh, do they do, do do shoppers have a choice? Uh, they do, but now it's a bit more difficult to look for the items which have not yet increased in price or have increased um, in a uh, in, in less in in a lesser. Uh, way than, than the others have increased their prices. Now, uh, imported items have increased by a lot because of uh, mm. supply chain disruption, no? Yeah, and mm -hmm. shipping lines uh, mm. problems, no? So, you know, go for the local items, hoping that uh, they've not increased in price as much as those which are which have ro imported raw materials or totally imported. Yeah. Okay, sir, I wanted to nuance on that, no? Which items talaga? Because is it, because, you know, the, the fertilizer issue, of course, affecting the agricultural mm -hmm. sector. So I was thinking it is the local produce na medyo mahal. Um, but at the same time, you mentioned that the imported Imported's. produce. What about, you know, the canned goods that are manufactured locally? My difference ba in the price increases of that vis-a-vis -vis those that are imported? Saan talaga yung price increases? Okay, manufacturing has become a bit more complicated than just robots, uh, produce, and sell. Okay, uh, some people do um, what you call uh, repacking. No, mm -hmm. when you pack, you rebottle or repacking in cans. No, uh, they come in big volumes from abroad, and then they repack them uh, in in cans or in bottles. No, and um, these have seen a big increase, okay, in price okay. because uh, these are imported raw materials, and uh, I, I guess uh, there are problems in logistics. No. Uh, aside from the prices have increased uh, from abroad and uh, peso dollar exchange too. Mm. So um, it's difficult to tell which items exactly, you know, at uh, in point because if people can tell, then, you know, people would buy all these mm. items, right? So it's a bit more difficult to tell now because it's a hilaw na, hindi na katulad dati, no, na very clear, this is imported totally, line and sinker, or this is local, no, totally. Um, even the can is imported, right? So you can't say anything. It's partially, it's all partially imported, put together, no, and partially local uh, content. So it's very difficult to tell which items have gone up and have not because uh, uh, the dynamics have changed mm -hmm. and it's pretty complicated. You cannot just pinpoint and say, let's okay. go for these items and not those items.